Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And when last we left off here in Alaska, I was trying to do missions in kind of a you know left-handed way here with an only a uh, class eight advanced protector heavy fighter shield, which is of course it's a graviton bay shield, which is very susceptible to outcast gunfire. So things are a little bit tricky, but we're gonna take a drive now. We came up here through the Omicrons. If we look at the overall map. So here we're here, but we, we, we came in through Tau 37, through Omicron Alpha, which is, of course, uh, outcast space from Theta. I believe we had to get through there from Sigma 17. We, we, we're going through heavy, heavily high-level hostile areas. But this time we're going to try and do something a little different. We're going to come down from Alaska into New York, zip around probably through the Rhineland zones, and then get back to Omicron Gamma. But step one... is we use this jump gate. Now, this jump gate only works one way. We will not be able to come back to Alaska from New York. We've got to go through uh, 37 to get here. So, this is a momentous decision. But it's not that big a decision. We need a shield. We have better shield than what we've got. Now, this is supposed to be essentially the same jump gate that you go through in the vanilla storyline to get to the, the prison ship in Alaska. Not too many spoilers going on here, but as you can see, we are surrounded by mines. So, you have to be very careful how we go about getting out here. And I'm trying to remember which way it is. I think I think it lines up pretty well. Let us go a little slowly here. I think if we go keep going straight. Yeah, I think if we aim for the for the lighter purple. There's mines ahead of us. Mine's above us, mine's below us. If you touch anything of that, you blow up. But if we fly through this tube, and we go for the lighter purple, <laughs> the music even changes when you get out of there. You're free. Let us... Let's see, considering where we're at. Now, let's head right to Texas. Well... Although, are we going to get Manhattan on this map? Although, we well, Manhattan has where you start. What am I thinking? Manhattan's on the map. The intermediate, you know, the intermediate stuff. Lambda 11 to Freelancer Alpha 3-1. I'm scanning your cargo for contraband. Go to. There's nothing here I want. That's Doc there. We'll take the trade lane. Now what we should do. Set a course for Tripoli Shipyard. No best path. Uh-huh. Okay. We're playing that game. Well, we can figure out a best a best path. There's Omega 41. There's Omega 5. How do we want to approach Omega 5? 
Let's let's go to Stuttgart. That's going through Omega Eleven. Let's get Omega Eleven on the map. It looks like that's not that part of the. It looks like if I look at my map, that should be the jump to Omega Eleven. Omega 11. Dark. Will take us to Omega 5. I tell you what, it's been a very long time. I barely remember Omega 7 or 11. We didn't spend a lot of time there. Omega 5, yes. No, like the back of my hand. Object. 41, sure. To the extent that you can't stay out there very much. Now, there's, up in this end of things, there's not much that can really bother us. Even with a smaller shield and... Ah! The EAPF still does not exist! Thank God! Whew! I was worried about that. And you don't need to know what they are. They just don't exist. Trust me. Not even a little bit. Oh, this is interesting. Outcasts! In tiny little daggers! Well, there's, there is some profit to be had here. Maybe. If they drop anything. Now, daggers are way more maneuverable than me, but they also explode real good. Pretty much you'll land anything on them. This is almost like Battlestar Galactica. It's like bing 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 and then you just land one shot. Much more satisfying sometimes than spending large amounts of time. And now this should help my Corsair rep keep healthy. It should help my Liberty help it really shooting outcasts makes a lot of people happy. And since I'm not doing it for anybody, it's it's a more pure thing. Like if you're doing work for the bounty hunters guild, then you can piss off the corsairs by shooting outcasts a little bit. If you're just shooting outcasts, it makes the outcasts it makes the corsairs happy. It also makes the bounty hunters happy and it also makes all the people who hate the outcasts happy. So therefore you get a general lift, except, of course, with the outcasts. And who liked the outcasts? There was another group. It was like the hacker group. What the heck was it called? The Liberty Rogues? No. There was another one. Well, we'll pick up some of these as we go along, probably. Now, one of the things you're going to have to realize, too, when you look at this, you'll notice, gee, there is... Oh, here we go. More of this. Oftentimes, you know, when, like, when I go through... Are they running away? Try not to clip any of the other ships. We have to land on Houston. It's just too significant a place. Do we have junkers on the uh, scan mode yet? Yes. Okay, so we're a little negative with the jump junkers, but not too bad. It's an interesting thing. You know, right now, base isn't an established clan on the server anymore. Technology. I wonder if they even still call them clans, or is it a crew thing now? Back in the day, we, we went to the same way as Call of Duty, and we referred to them as clans. 
assuming that everyone was intelligent enough to know that we did not mean the Ku Klux Klan, which is not anything any of us wanted a part of. No, it base is its own thing and has nothing to do with racism. Um, so, one of the places that we did headquarters out of was was Houston. We, we even did have uh, Manhattan as a base for a little while when we owned New York. That was an epic time. It was all epic times back in the day. So I don't know, will this be something that we eventually claim? I mean, it's, it's the kind of thing I have to talk with the guys. I should have sold some stuff off, but really, it's all just junk. It's not going to matter. Dimes and nickels here. Let's just roll. Okay, drop the cargo. You got loot and I want it now. I'm in a Titan. You kiss my rear. Rookie. You've got scrap metal. Watch this. I'm not even going to bother killing him. Objective reached. Oh, come now. It didn't select the thing. That was so Han Solo a moment. You've just signed your own death warrant. Oh, it's the Junkers coming after me. That's neat. Oh, we don't want to kill the Junkers. Say bye. I'll have to figure out how to make the Junkers happy. We'll get another another chance at a, a bribe somewhere along the line. The CSVs are probably going to give you better loot. That does lead to an interesting thought, though. We should probably, somewhere on the line, dump off whatever junk we have in here. Food rations and scrap metal. Okay. We'll figure out some place that's a good place to get rid of that. It's good to be regularly playing Freelancer again. For as regular as I can play anything. Sad that it's a little bit wrapped up, to be honest, in this whole... Uh, Coronavirus quarantine. Stock. We'll sell the stuff at Freeport too. We have to land at Freeport too. The only reason Freeport two isn't going to be like our our main uh, port of call here in in uh, Freelancer on the uh, the twenty four seven Freelancer Universe yeah. server Reach. is it's one of the systems you can't claim. It's it's uh, reserved for the admins. Which they probably picked it because it's one of those systems where nobody would want. But it's one that base would want. This is this was our original home. On um, back on the, the Get On It server. It's an Australian server. Objective Understood. Your request to dock is granted. Proceed to dock one. I don't believe there is a, currently a, an Aussie server. So I th most of those guys, uh, you know, if any of them still played, would play here. Like, I have such feelings of nostalgia docking here. As far as I'm concerned, even in the lore, this is still base's base. It's ours. You can you can imagine it's yours, but it's ours. You may have your name on the deed, no matter what. This is our base. Nothing really to sell. And nothing really to buy either. We can't get a level 10 shield here, I don't think. Be nice. But you can't, I don't think. If we go to... No, the best you can get here is a level 7.
I love how it does keep the wave points as we head towards the Hamburg ga gate. Had so many battles in Hamburg. I guess the Freelancers United or the FU clan. They did have, I think, one of the best senses of humor in the. <laughs> Still remember Phil, the leader, flying in every battle he'd fly in, he'd say, For the bearded ladies! You, you can't make that up. It's the truth. Oh, Unioners in Hawks. Now that's different. What the heck were the Unioners? I think the Unioners are bad guys too. Now this will this will be a little bit trickier because the Hawk is the in the same family as the Eagle, so they should be a little bit a little bit softer and a little bit less gunned, but a little bit more maneuverable. But then again, probably nothing compared to a Titan. I don't remember the last time I fought my way through because I have usually my systems. My systems. My ships are all set up for a uh, for a neutral rep. But it's fun to take a you know take a hot rep through and then you know, deal with okay you get to get blown up by me. See they're taking a little bit more. These are slightly better ships. Those are probably just slingshots. If I had a Hornet missile here, I could finish him off. But I have torpedoes, and torpedoes seem a bit excessive in this situation. Blast ahoy! Have you ever heard of the Nomads? They make nice guns. The Nomads, the Corsairs, good stuff. It'd be almost weird if we could just get close to him to see his ship burning. We could probably kill him with a head-on. Or like that. Don't you think you should go home? I think you should go home. Either, you know, home back to wherever in, in Germany or... <laughs> The Union is there. It's a German faction. But what were the Unioners? I have to almost look up the book. You tell us. The Unions are a terrorist group comprised, comprised of dispossessed Rhineland shipyard workers who engage in brutal reprisals chiefly against Republican shipping. Okay. The Red Hessians there displace miners. Now we're going to be seeing more and more of that as we fly into Hamburg. Again, as I'm shooting those guys up, see they're enemies with the Corsairs. And the outcasts. As I'm shooting outcasts, I'll Object. eventually make them like me. But if I keep shooting red hessians, the outcasts will cut me some slack somewhere along the line. That's why I'm primarily going to run this out of Cadiz. Because eventually, you shoot enough red hessians, most everybody likes you. Again, you're doing it for the Corsair, so maybe, maybe that'll keep the outcasts hostile. The dynamic uh, rep system in this game, really, just fantastic. Like these, just these guys, just the Xenos. That's who. That was, that was the hacky group there. Yeah, they, they hate everybody. Criminals. I just hate all criminals. I'm a criminal because I've got a Corsair rep. Primarily, where are the Xenos? Have I even seen a Xeno yet? I will run into them. Xenos are like, if you really want a good rep, 
And you, not a neutral rep, because the Xenos will always hit you. But if you want to just shoot Xenos all day long, you eventually will be able to fly anywhere you want otherwise. Except when you run into a Xeno. And the Xenos are never all that tough. Let's see if we can get away from these... Oh, they're, they're, their crew is disrupting me, but... Okay, this one's a lower entrance. Oh, we're still docking, okay. Again, they could fire at me all day, it's not even going to move the shield. They can fire at me all day, uh, uh, just keep a shooting and a shooting, uh, uh. Objective reach. Okay, so we should be coming up. The new Balina chefs don't jump the gate. We should have more... Why do we not have any more, uh, things? Come on. You know, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's dock at this station. Dump off stuff so that the junkers don't try and beam up, be on us. And these guys might need something. That'll give us the time to get ourselves remapped. I'm not sure what happened to my, uh, my destination there. I did something. I just, not, not paying attention. And repair the ship for what little repairs it must need. That's all. There we go. What did it say we had? Let's see. Okay. Now here's the Protector Mark One Class Four. It's a gun, and yet it's also a shield. Because you know, guns protect you just as much as shields protect you. Class Eight. Now we're gonna sell it. Up the phone. Hold on. Okay, so that's done. That's another telemarketer. They know you're home. You know, it's don't really care about that. Just don't want to be bothered. Go to the map. Go to the Berliner chefs. Wow, we have nothing on there, but we have. Dresden's not on the map. Stuttgart, though, is. Okay, so we do still have points here. That's weird. This is Rhineland Police Alpha 15 bit Freelancer Alpha 3 1. I'm scanning your cargo bay for contraband. The Boon Shoe! And yet I have one of your torpedoes. Isn't that funny? This is Rhineland Police, Sigma 3 bit Freelancer, Alpha 3 1. Mind if I take a peek in your hold? Didn't think so. You're not hauling what I'm looking for. Not hauling much. So we have to get. What is the best way to the Omegas? Is that through... Dr Obviously you have to get to Dortmund Station ah. first, but... Do we have map up here yet? I'm thinking that's where we want to go. Take us from New Berlin to Stuttgart, Stuttgart to Omega 7, Omega 7. But even so, Stuttgart, that's where we were, we were looking before. 
Yeah, Stuttgart down this way. Object ah, Hessians. I will take my time to shoot down these Hessians. You know, so I held my fire there so I wouldn't shoot the friendlies. Precision. See, that's... Say goodbye to your shields, then say goodbye to your face. It is, it is a very clean server. Keep the turbos in here. Objective. Reached. Trade lane disrupted. And we're disrupted again by people who apparently don't want to have a good afternoon. Uh, you're on point to this. Not for long. Say goodbye. Don't worry. I'll help you find it. Once you get a good ship, you, you do have a feeling of being completely overpowered. When you're in these little engagements. I can't believe I'm playing this game now for 15 years. Really, if you count vanilla, you're looking at 16, because I have been playing since really 2004. Not really playing online till 05, but. You know, I did have to beat the game first, that was always the thing. First, you play the game as Trent, then you play the game as you. And that was kind of how it went with me. Bon Station it is suddenly there. Hi, Bon Bon. Now. Yes, you know, it said moor. That's because there's a large transport there, and they can't dock. They can only just moor to the, the station. Sadly, you can't do that with a. Uh, with your own LTs, you have to get more creative with uh, how you're going to do LTs. Does that mean you're going to be microwaved? Oh, this is like, I don't even need to bother. <laughs> the LWB have that way of just getting killed. What did the LWB even stand for? It was something in German. look it up if no one's shooting at us. But I have a feeling someone will be shooting at us. You see, more and more people shooting at you as things go on. Like 
Read this. Bing bing. <laughs> to purge Stuttgart. This is Rhineland Police. Iota 14. It's freelancer. Alpha 3 1. I'm scanning your cargo for contraband. Okay, you're clean. I don't feel like I've got seven properly on the map either, so we can go if we can go to seven. Somewhere out here. See that right there? There's a Mega Five jump hole. Alright, well, let's try and go past Baden Baden. Now to 11 then. Why? Because why not? I just feel like we need to get 11 on the map. 7's kind of on the map. We can always loop back up and around. Especially if we're going to settle in 5. We can do all kinds of exploratory nonsense. Exploratory nonsense! Exploratory nonsense! Okay. I've been in the house for how long now? Not a week. I did go outside a couple days ago. Not very far, but still. Let's see. Just out of curiosity here. Let's have to do a slash ping. That's right. 107. Now 107 is a little bit high for where I'm at right now, but I am currently uploading a freelancer video. <laughs> and so, I'm trying to get these things out as quickly as possible. And after this, I'll probably be uploading... Um, another CEO in pajamas video. Get repaired. Repair complete. Sell the junk off. Royal release. Not that way. Not that way. Um, let's see here now. Do we have any junk in the uh, trunk? See, niobium's cheap out here, but we just want to like, make room. Which reminds me now, what was the LWB? The Landrit Trek Twid Gung. Landrit Well, I can't say that. Well, the Farmer's Rights Movement. Yeah, they just get blasted to crap for the most part. And where am I here? Bay. I remember this was always a cool place to hang out. It's a you know place you can buy. Is that that's that's not the eagle? That's the falcon. Luxury consumer goods. Baden Baden is an idyllic world of large oceans, black sand beaches, and the odd hot spring bubbling from volcanic outcroppings of rock. Orbital Spa and Cruise Lines maintain a popular resort here, though it has seen a decline in business as the economic situation in Rhineland grows worse, while radicals sympathetic to the LWB farmers' movement attack government officials all uh, for vacation here. Orbital has been probably been trying to remedy the situation by attracting bargain-hunting liberty tourists. So... Discount a luxury fare. At least the bathrooms were clean, right? See, that's one of the things about Freelancer that I absolutely love, is that, you know, you can just actually just fly to a planet. 
land your ship, exit the game. Let's say you have to go somewhere. And you can just imagine yourself doing things on that planet, you know, just hanging out on the black sand beaches as the wash, the water, you know, swish over. It, it just provides so much to the imagination. And did you see a beach there? No, but in my mind, there's a beach. I'm there now. It's warm, it's comfy. Alright, we better be here now though, because probably when we pop out of here, someone will be shooting at us. No? Omega 11 is one of the rougher systems, just so, as I, as I recall. As I recall, there's a lot of rads. No tra we start getting away from trade lanes now. You've entered our radar range, prepare to be microwaved. Of course, you know, microwaves and radar energy, it's all the same. It's, you know, it is all microwave radiation, even with what stuff they use in radars. Matter of fact, the way that the microwave was reportedly discovered is a guy working on a, a microwaves with uh, for a radar systems uh, walked past one with a... Uh, oh yes, this is familiar. Walked past a beam with the, uh, with a Snickers bar in his pocket and melted. He said, hey, we could cook food with this. That would be great. He didn't think to himself, oh my goodness, what did I just do to myself? But that's not the engineering way, you know. It's actually, it really is. Most engineers I know are very, very uh, cognizant of eating any kind of strange amounts of energy or, or toxicity. I probably could have gotten him with a turret. Turret blast, but yeah. Switching to turret mode. Keep shooting at me, baby. I like it. When you get further south, you start seeing Hessians and Sabres, and then things start to get interesting. Bang, 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 bang. Now we have to take kind of a a quick assessment of the situation. Obviously we can't go through here. The Dresden jump hole. We should get that on the map. When you see a jump hole, you have to take it. You need to just jump in and jump out. You want to get that link on the map. There's going to be a lot of fighting though. Sometimes just wiggling around a little bit. Keep them out of range of their cruise disruptors. Long enough for you to do this. Dog. Okay, who's here? Why is nobody ever happy to see me? Bye. I did what I wanted. <laughs> Let us go to the unknown planet. Alright, you know, fine. Are we going to be that way? Are we really going to be that way? Are we really gonna be that way? Now you'll notice it's getting a little trickier. Their guns are getting better. That's another really cool thing about this game is basically you can just stay wherever you're equipped to stay. If you're good enough to go to the tougher areas, you can stay in the tougher areas. Light him up. Enemy 
He's bleeding. One more nick. All he needs is one more nick. Ooh, you're... Well, aren't your buddies doing a good job? Because like there's a lot of them. Now oh, there's down to three. Don't worry. You don't have to be mad for very long. Your problems are all going to go away soon. One thing about jump holes is that you will get jumped outside of jump holes. They're very well named. I have to figure out how to get new copies of Freelancer. First of all, you know, just in case I ever find myself with a disc that won't reload or something. Did you, did you live? Well, well, well. Who do we have here? I hit the reverse thrusters. Come to me. I hear something. I don't even think you heard that much. I'm still in go too. Let's get whatever unknown planet is. I want to say somewhere around here. Oh, you know what? Let's, this is going to take time. Let's turn the. Let's turn on the advanced countermeasure dropper, and see if it buys us anything. Now this unknown planet, as soon as it locks up and we get a name on it, we should have all the information because it's not something that's dockable, as I recall. Unless there's a, you know, something in the mod. Or unless my memory's completely failed. That 10k before it'll light up and tell us what it is. Meanwhile, we get anything else on the long-range scanners as far as... Possible. See, it's nice they show you where the corona is. That's what we're going to do a go-to on shortly. Unknown planet, tell us your name. Led Schultz! Named after the senior lieutenant on Von Roo's fateful expedition, Schultz is a dying planet, slowly being melted by the swelling giant red sun at the system center. Let's uh, do a go-to around it. One of only two planets still intact in the system, the surface is convulsed by numerous volcanoes. It serves as a shield for Solaris Sta Oh, Solarius Station, that's right. I forgot about this station, yes. Let's I have to get Solarius Station on, that's just too key a thing. There's the other planet across the way. Which I don't think there's anything useful on that either. But we can, again, we can explore the system in depth somewhere else along the way. Repair. Hey, Reinhold, how's it going? Um, let's see. Do we have anything to sell to Solarius? Out here in the middle of nowhere. Some silver. Would like silver? Well, I guess we won't say no. No. More bandits. Unborn planet 40k away. Let me aim toward it and see where we're aimed down the, in the map. That might not be it. That might take us kind of where we need to go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's, oh, there's the Omega-7 jump hole. What did I just say we always do? Oh, 
Yeah, that's it. There's always that. Let's clear this waypoint. Ah, uh, see, I'm Alpha 3 1. Let's see if we can speed jump this before we get jumped again. Although we're jumping right back in, so. Get that on the map. And see, there's, there's Hessians here. See, now what? This is, these are all freebies. Once you're in the dock screen, I, think, I don't think you take any damage. I could be wrong. stilettos you're fine you know what if you really goes insist trying to who's green who are my friendly friends I'm pretty pretty happy with the whole thing really They're lighting this up. Actually, maybe he was lighting up. He might be one. That might have been one of the friendlies. Fool. Let's discuss who's the fool. Now, where am I here? There's Omega Five jump hole. Okay, well we're gonna oh, we're gonna run with that. That's kind of our goal here. Because Omega Five will take us back to where we know where we're going. Where we got full maps up. I am engaging Hessians. Cap at fourteen. Flight or base. Hmm. Yeah, let's get in. Get our fingers in position for the speed docks. Jump it. Now this is probably going to take us in on the on the Hessian side of things, which is not necessarily good because now we're going to be fighting sabers, probably. Might be some stilettos, but here we are. Now still, low. we got weapons platforms though, and we the weapons platforms are probably not a good thing to engage. Oh. Engine kill. Uh, did I hit the engine kill? Yeah, when you're on, bro. Let us see, though. That's where we came in. Let's set set our waypoint for down this way. Um, let's see. Let's do the avoid turbo. I think there's a lot of, uh, of uh, stuff here. Kick the turbos in. We still have our, our advanced countermeasures on. That should keep us in cruise. See, this is the front lines for the, the war between the Corsairs and the Red Hessians. Lots of wrecks to, uh, to loot. Lots of wrecks to loot. Lots of weapons platforms on both sides. Uh, oh dear, mines. Uh, I forgot about the mines. Okay, the mines are an issue. I'm just clipping the edge of these two. They're not insta deadly, but they're problematic. See, this is what rustiness will get you. Hmm. 
And there's no path directly through these. We just have to be very careful. And get out of them. Go to. Now. Somewhere here. What happens on this side here is the Omega-41. We're not going to go directly at it because we want to get ourselves a little bit of distance. So we can come at that so that we're not going through mines again. Whew! That was exciting. Alrighty. Mines! Mines, mines, mines! Okay, let's try it now. Clear all waypoints. Coming up on another server restart. Okay. It's always like the server is about to restart when I'm almost going to get to my destination. They're going to have a tough time hitting me with a missile and all these rocks anyway, but still. There's Cadiz. A safe home base, if ever there was for me. In the original lore for this, when I was coming up with the, the character of the Black Knight, I had him as somebody who was actually working for... Uh, he was a mercenary hired by the Liberty uh, Navy. He's a Liberty Navy guy, essentially. They're sent there basically to keep the war going between the Corsairs and the, the Red Hessians. So he's supporting the Corsairs because, you know, you know, essentially if you could keep the war going and, you know, if someone started falling behind. You know, bolster that side. So that because as long as the Red Hessians and the Corsairs were shooting at each other, they wouldn't be shooting at anybody in the the main systems, you know, keep the war going here. So the idea was at some point the, the Hessians were getting an upper hand and so I was sent down. I have a, There's a whole bunch of stuff written up on this on the Basin System Services website. I still have all of my old uh, the neural nets that we used to write for the, the, the Australian server are there. I think I have most of them. You can see some of the stories and the explanations of what went on there. I have to reread them myself. I can barely remember some of that stuff. It's been so long. See, now we're seeing sabers. Okay. Okay, we have to watch because radiation is taking its toll on us. Oh, dear. I forgot. I, th I thought it would, it would drive me around that. But where did it leave us? Pretty far back. We should have t tagged in at... Okay, Solaris. That's not too bad. I forgot how aggressive... I thought I was far enough away from the Neutron Star. <laughs> you get a little bit of an adrenaline rush, though, when you do that, don't you? Zoom already. I just want to get to the zoom point. All right, let's try this. I'm going to jump over to Omega-7. Because what the heck, we might as well get more stuff mapped. Now let's go through the Omega-5 jump hole in Omega-7 and see if it brings us out a little bit better. I want to say they both end up dumping me off on the, uh, the Rhineland side of things, so it's a problem. So close and yet so far there. Just one mental lapse. Of course, if this were real life, I'd be what we call dead. But it's a video game. And I'm happy for that. Dash, here's my guns. Prepare for this. I might as well shoot them all because I'm going to need time.
Nothing to beam. Now there's stuff to beam. This is a mineable section, as I recall. All these little rocks, you can shoot them and beam the stuff in. Alright. Oh, well, what is this, you know? McConaughey? Well, alright, alright, alright. That's got to be it. There we go. Direct go target. To. Go to. 41k away. Shouldn't be anything in between. This looks like oh, the Gubenfield Cloud. A medium-sized pocket within a nebula. That could be explosive gases. Which are easier to deal with than, uh, than mines. Yep. Danger. Volatile gases detected. Every one of those little puff balls there is a uh, potential explosive, just like a mine. But they'll work on AI ships as well. So you can wear down AI too. We're through. Useful for shaking a tail. The the variations in the systems, you know, the the space in in Freelancer is very re rarely a vacuum. It's all clouds and asteroids and atmosphere and. Wonderful stuff. This is the game way that this 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 game. This is the game that made everyone excited about Star Citizen. All of the millions and millions and millions of dollars. And I mean not to take anything away from the Wing Commander series and the other stuff that you know came before, but this this game is what everybody was hoping for when Star, the, the, you know, they want Star Citizen to be a modern version of this game. And it won't be. I have it, I've played it. It's going to be entirely too realistic. It's going to be a very excellent space sim if they ever, ever finish it. Now, I'm not asking for a refund because I will I will do stuff in that world. I will do space sim stuff there theoretically if they ever get it rolling. Now where are we? We're we are pretty much <laughs> right next to the other place. Okay, fine. I'm gonna I some wisdom's coming back from here. You know what the way to do this is? You set it out here. Kick the turbos in. Now let us run to the other side. Avoid the mines. Avoid the uh, the guns. Run to the Corsair side of things where they love us. Not that we won't find... You know, any resistance over there because it is a war zone, the whole system. Okay, I think we can get a straight enough shot to Cadiz now. And I think, based on our experience in 41, we're going to land. See, there is still resistance, but again, I've got... Oh, they got through! They, my, my countermeasures didn't protect me. Well, that's too bad, because they were there for your protection, not mine. My countermeasures didn't protect you. 
I may have run out of them because I'm because they, if they're going off every time I fire. Well, I hold the button now; they won't keep firing. I don't think it's you have to get it's pulsed. But if I lift up and then I go, I'll launch another one. Well, because I've got nomad guns primarily, I can do this all day. Bastards! Who's you? Know, do I have a mouse in my pocket? No, it's just me. He has larger, the larger Corsairs kind of thing. Come here, Hessian, 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 Hessian. All right, now the question is, can I get to Cadiz before the reset? Just get me to Cadiz. Cadiz. I don't remember what kind of, of shields you can get at Cadiz. I don't think it's very good. It's a great place for loading up on artifacts. No, it doesn't have um, doesn't have the shield we're looking for. It does have Tisdil Sids though. That's a good point. You gotta be tight with them, but you can get them there. You get to Tisdil said you gotta be have at least one ship tight with the uh, the corsairs. It's just that simple. That is a big base. I mean, it's got multiple dock points. Oh, never mind. They're not gonna. This isn't gonna end well for them. Those base guns are definitely heavy enough. Blam! 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 I may be en route to getting another uh, another shield, but an eight's good enough for this. Main thing we're doing here is getting a, a, a regen point in case we blow ourselves up in 41 again. May just wait here and let the server reset. Let's get ourselves repaired. Repair complete. Sell off the junk. Can we sell everything off before it resets? We gotta be close. Good profits. Imagine all this built inside, out of stone, built inside the rock. And the server's got to reset momentarily. Let's launch. Get as far as we can, maybe. I'll we'll do it that way. Now there could you could have some weird stuff happen there. Like if the if the server resets while you're in that, then guess what? You're in the hole, and you have to wait for uh, someone to open the door for you. Okay, we got we got the the speed on them now, and we've got a full brace of countermeasures. Can we get to the forty one? Now this time I'm not going to try to go to the Freeport. This time we're going to take, watch this. Because if we take, if we head for the Freeport, then it takes us more through the radiation zone, as I recall. Dog. Yeah, 
Again, it's all knocking the rust off, getting used to this massive system again. Who's shooting at me? Nobody? Okay. The gamma jump hole. We should be able to go straight to the gamma jump hole, though we may just take a look here at the, the big neutron star again. The server will restart now! Wah. Alrighty then, let's do the time warp again. I just want to point out too, alright, this is my server that I always play on. You know, for a game that is 16 years old, has a lot of people who still maintain an infrastructure to let you play it. Titan May. Okay, let us get moving again, because we're flat-footed here. Luckily we got some... who is that? Some zoners! Some zoners and some choristers. Okay. Corsairs and zoners. Again, I'm a little bit hesitant not to just keep this off to the, the right a little bit. Might not be necessary, but... You saw how quick it just starts annihilating your ship if you clip that main area. Very much like a Sun's Corona. Well, the Sun's Corona actually can get pretty far in sometimes. Okay, we passed the... Alright, we're past it now. So we don't... Okay. Sabres. Let's see if we can slip past here. Although... Can't let my Corsair buddies fight them alone. And they might have a good start. No, you're not. You're not even a little alright. And not by a football team. Dock. We're within docking range. Let's see if that works out for us. And once we're in Gamma, I don't think we have anything really to worry about AI-wise. I think that's bounty hunters. Corsairs and bounty hunters. We're friendly with everybody, so you can say, hey guys, uh, have a nice day. This one is shooting at me. This one's shooting at me. Okay, well. Shooting? No, I think Tripoli. Let's see. Do they have the advanced brigadine? Yeah, advanced brigadine heavy fighter shield. That's what we're looking for. Seems right to get into the shipyard, you know? Plus, I think we've already been to Crete here, right? Yeah, we've already been there. So let's go back.
dock. Not even going to speed dock it. We're just going to dock it. Let it coast in. Check the phone. <laughs> One of my friends, uh, musician Chris Gratz, just posted, Strain 19, now we Acknowledge can't dance together, now we Please can't talk at all, get Strain 19, okay, no, I, don't know. I like it. When you, can, when you can get humor from Steely Dan and a global pandemic, I think that's a good sense of humor. And here we are. We do, we do some repairs. Repair complete. And now we get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. This was the whole point. Take that away from me. Mounted. Bang! The advanced brigadine. You can compare the two. We got 8200 versus 58. And the Brigadine is better against the weapons that are used by the core, the Outcast. So, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is about where I'm going to leave it off. I think it's been enough of, an, of a, blah, 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 enough of an adventure for today. We're going to head over to the bar here at the shipyard. Corsairs. Ooh, she's got a story. Hi. What can I do for you? Hey, what you got? You're unfamiliar. First time here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I work for the Corsairs. We own this base. Well, you know, I have heard a rumor. All right. You've got my attention. Fine. Here's what I heard. Okay, so that just tells you, you know, why they have a, uh, a shipyard. Good to know. Thanks. All right, then. Good luck. Kind of obvious, but, you know. Hey, what's up? Something to drink? Got stuff that'll put you out. I'm not <laughs> thirsty, thanks. Got anything else? New here, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Welcome to Tripoli Shipyard. Run by the Corsairs. Yeah, I could tell you some things. Maybe spread the word a bit. Into it? All right, keep going. Fine. Here's what I got. There you go. Interesting. Now that will tell you that you could. Whatever. If you could Good get, luck. if you can get mocks, you could probably sell it there for a profit. Well, that's enough for today, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed yourself here. Hopefully we'll get the chance to do more of these. Cruising around Sirius again. I know I had a good time. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Did you see a chain skins when we're... Okay, let's...